All right, so today on series, ladies, today on series, all I'm asking on a series is evaluate the series, add all those numbers. We can do it the hard way, negative 19 minus 19 minus 39. Like we can add them. There's not that many numbers. There's what, seven numbers? So it's not that bad. Do me a favor. I see some Chromebooks open. Do me a favor. Close them all the way down. Thank you. Like I said, we can do it the hard way. Some cases, I'm not going to give you just seven numbers. Some cases, I might give you 50 numbers. Or I could even ask you guys, add the numbers from 1 through 100, which actually was given to a 10-year-old, well, a 10-year-old class some years back, and Giles found a formula. So we're going to use the formula instead. Like I said, we're not going to do the hard way. We're going to do the short way. And the formula is going to be the formula N, N will represent is how many numbers we got times, so N times the first number plus the, the last number. So keep in mind, I'm going to add the first number plus the last number, multiply by how many they are, and my result, I'll divide it by two. So N is how many numbers we got. A sub 1 is the first number, A sub n is the last number, and then divided by 2. So in our case, like I said, we could do it the long way, or I can just go 7, because there's 7 numbers. Inside parentheses, I'm going to add negative 19 plus negative 79, right? The first number plus the last number. And whatever I get, I'll divide it by 2. So let me figure out what negative 19 minus 79. So I have that seven, this is seven, negative 19 and negative 79, that is negative 98. Yes. Because there's seven numbers. And then divide this by two. So multiply that out. And we should get negative 343. If we add the numbers, negative 19 minus 29 minus 39 minus 49 minus 59, like add them all up, it should give us the same result. But I'm just going to do it the short way. How many numbers, that's n, the first and last, we're going to add them, and then whatever we get, we divide it by 2. Simple. Take a look at example number eight. Remember our formula is n, how many numbers, the first number plus the last number, and divided by two. So I see we have one, two, three, four, five numbers. So five, I'm just gonna go negative one plus 19, right, the first number plus the last number, divide this by two. So I'm, I just have that result is 5 times 18 divided by 2. I'm just going to go 5 times 18, which is 90, divided by 2, which gives me 45. So that's not that bad. Piece of cake. So I could even ask you guys, add the numbers from 1 through 100. Should not be that difficult. There's a hundred numbers, add the first and the last, and divide it by two. 5,050, in case you guys were wondering. Okay, so now, let's take a look at question number nine. I'm gonna introduce you guys to the uh, one of our Greek letters. That thing that looks like an E, we call that sigma. Now, sigma means repeated addition. So, we're going to use 9n minus 10. The first number, we said n equals 4. The second number, n equals 5. n equals 6. n equals 7. The last number, n equals 14. Because remember, for us to be able to add everything, I need my formula n. You know, how many numbers am I going to add after all? You know, my first number plus my last number and divide this by 2. So if I'm adding n equals 4, then n equals 5, then n equals 6, n equals 7, all the way to n equals 14, 
I'm going to say I have 11 numbers. And the way I got 11 numbers is I know 14. If I subtract this, 14 minus 4 gives me 10. But uh, I have to add the 4 as well. So the way we're going to find out how many numbers we have, if we look at the numbers 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, there's 11 numbers. So we're going to add 11 numbers. My first number, I want to know what's ace of 1. I want to know what's ace of 14 because that's my last number. Ace of 1, I want to use 9n minus 10, n equals 4 because that's my first number. 9n minus 10, that's 36 minus 10. I'm going to say my first number is 26. We're good? Because my first number is n equals 4. So 9 times 4 minus 10. Yeah. Now my last number is 8 of 14. You guys see my last number on top is 14. 8 of 14. Bless you. So I'm going to do 9 times 14 minus 10. 9 times 14 is 126 minus 10. It's 116. See some of you guys' faces like you guys don't get me. Remember, all we're doing is ace of 4 plus ace of 5 plus ace of 6 plus ace of 13 plus ace of 14. All right, my first number was, I'm using the formula 9n minus 10, n equals 4. That's how I got the 26. My last one, I'm saying n equals 14. So that's how I got the 116. And that's not. So far, so good? All right. So I'm just going to say 26 plus 116, all this divided by 2. All right, there's 11 numbers. So there's my 11. I'm adding the first plus the last one and everything over 2. If you look at the numbers from 4 through 14, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, that's 11 numbers. So I have that 11 plus 100 times 142 is equal to 2. Yes. 14 minus 4 is 10, but 4 through 14 is 11. <coughs> Count four. Don't start counting on five. All right, so my answer is 781. All I'm doing is how many numbers I'm counting? 11 times the first plus the last, all divided by two. We okay? Let's take a look at one last example. I'm going to look at example 10. From the numbers from 3 to 10, remember our formula n, the first number plus the last number divided by 2. The numbers from 3 to 10, if you count the numbers 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, there should be 8 numbers. I know 10 minus 3 is 7, but don't forget to, you're, by saying 10 minus 3, you're not counting the first number. So I know 10 minus 3 is 7. But don't forget to count the first number. So there's eight. There's eight numbers. Because if you say 10 minus 3, you're starting to count from 4. 4, 5, 6. So like I said, so from 3 to 10, there's eight numbers. My first number, I'm looking at this as 30 minus 18. I'm using the formula 10i minus 18. i equals to 3. So 30 minus 18 which we call 12. That's my first number. My last number is ace of 10 because it tells me to stop at 10. I'm looking at the formula 10i minus 18, i being 10. So I'm looking at this as 100 minus 18. 100 minus 18 is 82. So I know how many numbers 
I know the first numbered. I know the last numbered. 